something that Susan said and Patricia said also, the um, inspiration of reading Maroon the Implacable and kind of witnessing uh, the transformations that he went through in his life. That for me is one of the huge inspirations of this book that he serves as a model for aspiration, that you go through your life, you continue learning, and your life changes because of the things you learn. Uh, little changes in your life, big changes in your life based on the things that you learn, that you take in. And there is a quote in particular in here, if you don't mind me sharing, from the dragon and the hydra that really speaks to me. I find so eloquent of a summation the main threat to humankind, to the flora and fauna, and to our entire biosphere is capitalist imperialism. A totally out of control, predatory, global system of accumulation and oppression that's on a collision course with the limitations of our planet. Daily devouring children, women, people of color, the poor, workers of all stripes, wildlife, and the environment in pursuit of profits. So I've taken this quote and I have a little piece to play on my bassoon here, inspired by it, based even a little bit on the speech rhythms. And because he talks about the flora and fauna and how this um, message resonates with my love for the animals and my fear for their destruction, I'm putting in a little bit of the song of this bird right here, the yellow warbler, swamp, great swamp bird, it looks like that and it sounds like this. I'm gonna sing it again, just wait. What a song. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs>